Hello and welcome to AVQ Sewing Studios in Strathroy, Ontario. This is Kelly and today I am super excited to show you how to quilt with your embroidery machine. And not only are we going to quilt with the embroidery machine, we're actually going to design the quilting pattern on the embroidery machine using the IQ Designer on the Baby Lock Solaris. Now this machine has some amazing built-in fill patterns and I have been using some of them to quilt a quilt that I made a while ago and it is just so easy. So let me show you just a little bit about how this works. I have hooped up my quilt in the hoop that we're going to use. Now in hooping this, I have just used the actual quilt itself. There's no stabilizer needed for this project because the quilt's already stable enough. As you can see, I have already stitched out the white block and what we're gonna do is design for the purple block and we're gonna stitch that one out. Now, when I was hooping my quilt, I did try to keep it straight just because it makes it that much easier. So I'm using this center seam right here as my guide. And now we are ready to design. So here I am at the Solaris 2, and this is the home screen that you're seeing in the camera right now. So I'm gonna go into my IQ designer. Now what I have done is I have attached a mouse to the machine so that my fingers don't get in the way and you can see what I'm doing. So follow the mouse pointer right there. First thing I'm going to do is select this little leaf right here in the top right hand corner and what that's going to do is it's going to scan my fabric and put that fabric into the background of my screen. Once I select the image scan I get a pop-up and it is asking me what I want to do at this point and I'm going to scan my image. I'm going to click scan. It's going to give me a warning that the frame is going to move and it's going to be scanned with the built-in camera. So watch what happens once I've okay the scan. Now you do want to make sure that you have enough distance behind your machine that the frame is not going to hit anything. And it's going to do three passes. Once it's finished scanning, you can see that the background image of my quilt is now on my screen and I can see exactly where I need to design. What I want to do is put a pattern inside this pink area on the quilt and I want to fill that with a design from the Solaris. So I am going to go over here to Region Properties and click on this area right here and then my choices pop up and I have a lot of different choices. For this particular design, what I want to do is go into this right here, and that gives me all the different fill patterns that are available. And there is a lot of them. Sometimes the hardest part is choosing the fill pattern you want to use. So for this square, I think that I want to choose the double clamshell right here. So I'm going to select that, say OK. Then I'm going to change the color. This Changing this color here just changes how it visually looks on the screen. So of course I want to stay away from light purple because that's the color that I have. Um, I'm filling in. So this time I think I'm going to go black. I'm also going to change this size, size up here. And what that is, is that's the size of the pointer. So again, the visual size of the design as I'm outlining the block. And I want to make it big enough for you to see it easily, so I'm going to take that to about a 40, just so it's a, a, bigger, a bigger line for you to see. Click OK. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is select the, the drawing tool, and I am going to draw all the way around my shape. and set the boundary line. Now I am way better at drawing that line with the stylus than I am with the mouse. So I'm sure we're gonna to need to make some changes. Let's just lighten the background. And as I lighten the background, you can see the outline that I have made. Now, if I need to fix that, which I'm sure that I do in a couple of places, I can zoom in and let's go 400%. And then what I can do is I can use this pan button 
and I can pan around the design and see if I need to make any changes. Now the interior of the shape, I'm going to darken this up so you can see. So the interior of the shape, it doesn't matter what it looks like. It's the exterior is the part we need to look at. And as you can see, let me just pan a little more. I got a couple of little issues down in here and in there. So here I can make adjustments. If I want to add color, I will click here and then I can just fix up the area that doesn't have enough color. And let me just get a little overzealous here. So if I overshoot the runway, let me go back into here and pan over just a little more. I can then click the eraser and I can go ahead and fix up my boo-boos. Oh, oh dear. Had a speed wobble on the mouse. So I'll go back here and add in some more design. So once, and I, I will scoot all the way around the outside using the pan button just to make sure that I am happy with my outline. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to 100% zoom. And now I am ready to fill the entire design. So here I want to go over and I'm going to click on the bucket. And then I'm going to click in the center of the design. And it's going to fill in that area. But we're not done yet. We can still make some changes to that pattern if we want to. So now I'm just going to go down and click next. And I'm going to lighten up that background so we see the design more than we see anything else. And what I want to do is I think this is a little bit denser than what I want. So I am going to go over here and I'm going to adjust that. And let's maybe make it up to, oh, about 150 and see what that looks like. Yeah, that's better. I kind of like that. I can then make some other changes. If I want an outline around the outside of the design, this particular case, I do not. So I want to turn my outline off. And that's all the changes at this point that I want to make. So now I just hit set. And it's going to tell me it's converting the design. I click okie dokie. And now I just click embroidery. And what it's going to do is it's going to stitch out that design for me. I have already threaded up my machine with the color of thread that I want to use. So we just let her rip. That stitch out was a little shy of six minutes. So at this rate, I'm going to have this quilt done in no time at all. There, now that I have designed this, I can save this design to the memory of the machine or onto a USB stick, whichever I prefer. So I'll click on memory. And in this one, I'm going to save it to the memory of the machine. And there we go. I can now reuse this design on the other blocks. Now on this particular quilt, I have decided that I want all the white blocks to have the same pattern in them and each colored block to have a different pattern. So if I want to retrieve and stitch out all the white blocks, it is super easy with this machine. There's a projector on the machine that shows me exactly where I am placing that design. So let me go down here and I'm gonna get this particular design off the machine. So we are going to delete this design and I love how it says, are you sure just in case I push the wrong button? But yes, I am sure. And I'm going to go into my memory and I want to pull up the flower design right here that I'm using on the white blocks. 
I'm going to tell it to set it. And now all I need to do is position this design onto the quilt. And I'm going to use the projector just to show you how super easy that is. The projector tell, shows me exactly where I'm going to be placing that block. So I'm going to touch right here to this one right there. Let's use the mouse. And I'm going to turn the projector on. So with the projector turned on, it projects a portion of my design directly onto the quilt. So then I can just use the positioning buttons that are on the screen to place the design exactly where I need it to be. I can rotate it. I can do whatever I need to make sure that that design is perfectly within the boundaries. And I can move around what the projector looks at or what the projector, sorry, projects. And I can make sure that my entire design is exactly where I want it to be. I think I can scoot down just a little bit here. Oop, maybe too far there. And I need to come over this way just a bit. Now, once I'm happy with that placement, I can then move my, the projector around. I can see exactly where it's gonna project or where it's gonna stitch out. And I can keep moving it. And I can perfectly place my designs every single time. Perfect. And once I am happy with the placement, I just go ahead and stitch it in. Now, if I look back on the screen for just a second, this red box is the area that I am looking at and projecting onto the quilt. So I can scoot it around to all the different areas to make sure that I'm perfectly placed. So there we go. That is just one of the amazing features of this machine. I gotta tell you, I am barely scratching the surface with what this thing can do. Quilting, sewing, or embroidery, perfect results every time. And all of the stuff that that IQ designer can do in creating your own embroideries and doing your own editing on screen is just amazing. If you've ever thought about adding embroidery to your quilting, the Baby Lock Solaris 2 is amazing. And in using the IQ designer, I am gonna have this quilt finished in no time. So I'm gonna get back to quilting my quilt. Thanks for watching. Have an absolutely amazing day and happy sewing.